Hey there, Sharon horn from here with my You Got This coffee mug, one of my favorites. And my favorite rubber ducky robe. I don't know if you can see my little cute duckies, but I love this robe. It's a nice, soft, thick terry cloth robe with duckies on the sleeves and duckies on the, all over it. Little, little cute. And actually, they're super cute. Can you see them? Super cute little ducks. So this is one of my favorite robes. Not necessarily the best color for me. Blue, it's kind of like gray. Not an awesome color, but I love wearing it. So who cares? You know, you're like, I don't care about this. This is a daily scare show. You're supposed to be telling me something to stretch my comfort zone. Today is actually day 323. Oh, some mornings coffee tastes so awesome. Awesome day today. Day 323 of doing one thing a day to stretch our comfort zone, to get us out of the rut some of us often find ourselves living into by doing one thing a day that scares us. From this book, this little journal type book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. I got this book in about 2014. And I got it, I got a copy for me and a copy for a friend of mine. We had started a ba, 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 network marketing business together. We'd each started and joined a network marketing business, which I love, still love the products, not doing the network marketing business anymore for a lot of reasons. But we did this book for about a week and then we quit doing it. Then I picked it up. I noticed that in the beginning, I picked it up a couple of times over the next two years that never really did more than a day or two in it. Shame on me. I just wasn't committed to stretching my comfort zone. I wasn't committed to changing in the ways that this book has encouraged me to change over the last 323 days. But I decided this year, actually I decided, but my daughter put it in my face. She found this book on my bookshelf. She said, mom, this looks like a really cool book. And I agreed with her. I said, it is a cool book. I said, but I've never really done it. And so she just smiled at me in her little daughter knowing way because she knows me better than probably almost anyone on the planet. And I had gotten into this really, really boring life. I mean, like super boring. I'm in my pajamas, right? Well, I was in my pajamas pretty much every day, the majority of the day doing things online, trying to learn how to do things online. But I was doing it in a very boring, very in my rut, in my own head way. I was stuck in a learning loop and not really accomplishing the results that I wanted to reason to achieve in, in my online businesses, primarily because I was in this rut. I was in this boring routine. I was doing the same thing day in and day out, you know, kind of expecting different results, but not really. And just thinking that it was okay and good enough. And luckily for me, my daughter said, yeah, that's not good enough for you, mom. You've got a lot more to do and a lot more to say. So stop this. And so I committed to myself. So I was afraid to do Facebook lives that every day throughout this book, I would do a Facebook live and share the challenge because it's like a little challenge every day to do something to stretch my comfort zone to do something to get me out of the rut and the boring box that I've been living in because you know what they say a rut is nothing more than a grave with the ends kicked out and so I wanted to change my life and I knew that involved doing one thing every day a little thing every day to stretch my comfort zone and bust me out of that so today's is one of these yes no days yesterday we said yes to the universe today we're going to say no to the universe. Ba, ba, ba. Again, with the sound effects, who says no to the universe? Now, we're not saying no to the universe. Correction. We're saying no to a sign from the universe. So sometime today, we're going to get a sign from the universe that indicates something to us. And we're going to say no to that sign. Now, I drew a blank when I got this one because I was thinking it said, say no to the universe, but it isn't. It's saying no to a sign from the universe because we're always getting signs. We're always getting messages. We're always getting inklings or intuition or thoughts or feelings about things in our life. We, we're thinking about a topic and all, the to all of a sudden we see license plates or so literal road signs or billboards or messages in people's cars if we're driving or just different things on people's desks if we're going about our day at work or different messages and sayings on the internet will attract our attention because they're trying to give us a message or tell us something. And so sometimes we say yes to those signs and we see them and we pay attention. Other times we see them and we say, nope, doesn't, not going to do it, doesn't make sense to me. I'm still going to go with what I want to do and I don't want to do that. I see the messages, but I'm just going to ignore them. So as I go about my day today, I'm going to look for signs from the universe that I should or shouldn't do something. And I'm going to have to report back tomorrow because I don't know what I'm going to say no to yet because I haven't done it yet. So I encourage you to do the same. And uh-oh, tomorrow and the next day, dreaded blank line days. Ah, 
So I'm going to have to come up with something for those. I'm going to have to start thinking about it now. Maybe that's my sign from the universe that I should look for something different to do tomorrow and the next day because we've got two blank lines coming up. But actually, it's a topic I like, so I can handle it. I'm not scared anymore. After 300 days, I stopped getting a little scared of the blank line days. I'm just not as afraid of them anymore. But this is a really cool process. And I, I would encourage you to find something like this that helps you to stretch out your comfort zone. Because I know that I'm a totally different person than I was at the beginning of the year because of this. I'm doing a women's summit now. Beginning of this year, I would never have imagined that I would be putting on a women's summit. In January I just I would never have taken that on because I wouldn't have believed that I, I I would know I could do it but I wouldn't have believed I could do it now I don't know how to do it every step of the way I don't know how I've never done one but I know with a hundred percent certainty that I'll figure it out and that everything I need to make it happen will will show up and I'll find it and I'll find the resources because I've learned to be resourceful by stretching my comfort zone sit have a fantastic day don't be scared. You got this. And you know, I'll be back with you tomorrow with another Daily Scare Share.